So we just told you that stocks were up yesterday for the first time in two days, boosted by gains in technology and consumer stocks. And after the first presidential debate on Monday, the market might be signaling, signaling it wants Hillary Clinton to be our next president. So let's bring in Gary B. Smith, Kadena Group president, also a Fox News contributor. Hi, Gary. Good morning. Good morning. What do you make of the market's reaction to the debate on Monday? You know, I, I have to say, I, I keep questioning whether I was watching the same debate. I think the conventional <laughs> wisdom is Hillary won, market likes it, market up. I'm watching the debate, to be honest with you, and I'm thinking Donald Trump won. And here's why. I think, it, I think he definitely won the first 30, 40 minutes. And I think I'm like most people. After you watch 30, 40 minutes, you, you just keep it on, but you kind of tune out. To me, I went to bed thinking Trump won the debate. I wake up the next morning. I think that's good for the economy. I think that's good for America because it means we won't have the same thing we've had for the last eight years. I think that's what the market's voting for. Not, my gosh, we got more of this anemic growth, uh, incomes going down, home ownership going down. I think that's how the market's voting. Well, Gary, I wanted to ask you, what, when you listened to the debate, what really resonated with you? I know we had multiple issues here at home, abroad. What really stuck with you pertaining to the markets and what Americans should know? I'm, I'm glad you asked that question because what my takeaway was, and I think the greatest line that Donald Trump had in it, was that Hillary and her like have been working on this for 30 years. Now, that's a bit of a hyperbole, obviously. But the fact is, and the point and the takeaway is, my gosh, with Donald Trump, like him, love him, loathe him, you're not going to get the same old, same old. And so what he's saying is, hey, what we've been doing at least for the last eight years hasn't been working. And you guys have had a chance to correct that time and time again. And me, Donald Trump, is at least going to bring something different to the table. I think that's what America is yearning for. Gary, five Federal Reserve presidents, in addition to Janet Yellen, speak today. She's testifying. Donald Trump brought up something that I know we've been questioning for a while. He said this stock market is in a bubble because the Fed is being political and keeping interest rates low. Your thoughts? Um, let's take out the political part because we don't know. I suspect it is. You know, when we talked last week, I thought they wouldn't raise rates because they were a little on the political side and they didn't. But even if they're not, look, there's only a couple things that can drive the stock market. It's earnings and it's interest rates. And we look at earnings, what we've had six straight quarters of declining earnings in the S&P. So it's not earnings. It's not the economy. It has to be interest rates keeping the stock market up. Are we in a bubble? Maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but is the stock market uh, at these levels, primarily because of the Fed, I firmly believe it is. Gary B. Smith, Kadena Group President, Fox News contributor. You Thank you for your time this morning. Thanks, Gary.